Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And Klein is really starting to get it right with their ratcheting screwdriver. This is one of their latest ones. This particular guy uses a kind of a proprietary ball detent bit that fits into this uh, kind of sporty looking shaft. This is kind of nice. It's reminiscent of this PB Swiss in terms of the, the fluid lines, um, but what it's replacing is this, as far as I can tell, is this abomination. This is the bloated um, multi-driver thing that they've got where you can flip this around and pop out the whole thing, pop out this, pop out this. Um, for a while, they were really into that. Maybe they still are. But anyway, it just becomes kind of this heavy thing. Look at this. I throw this on the scale here. We've got 11.3 ounces. Let's take a look at their newer one. And what this has is, this is 9.2 ounces and it's got this bit carousel on the back, giving it what they call the 15 in one ratchet. So it's 14 different bits and then you can use this as a quarter inch nut driver right here. So. It has a uh, collar that you can rotate here. My only complaint about this thing really would be this is really smooth. So sometimes I like to be able to flip it back and forth. You can see like in the PB Swiss, if I want to switch this back and forth or snap-ons right here, I can easily switch it. And uh, having that really slippery just makes it a little tough to do that. It's a two-handed operation. Um, overall, this thing, let me show you the length here. I'll drop my tape measure upside down. Makes it a little bit easier, but you can see this thing is about uh, somewhere around nine and a half inches. That's a little bit longer than its earlier design, which is about, I don't know, eight and a quarter inches. This thing is heavy. Um, when I looked at it, I thought, where are the where's, first of all, the Klein history? It doesn't have that traditional Klein look. Um, yes, it's got the rubberized area, but this yellow thing and, you know, this part up here just really doesn't cut it. And then, you know, I, I did a video on this bloated mass. <laughs> this thing is gigantic. Imagine you need like a 5 16 And see right there, 5 16 inch bit driver that weighs literally over a pound. That's over 16 ounces. This thing is just huge and heavy, and let's say you want to pop that out and flip this around and flip that around. Whoops, maybe that's the wrong one. Maybe it's in here somewhere. Um, it just ends up being uh, just a beast. Neat idea. Um, I don't know. Anyway, so I'm kind of a fan of this guy. Um, the sleek lines, the engineering, the smoothness. It has a smaller ratcheting uh, arc, the, I mean a greater ratcheting arc than the earlier version. If I look, look at this, I'm going to line it up here right on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven maybe. Try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's about a 21. Or I mean, excuse me, a 28. Four times seven is 28. So a 28 tooth. However, if you compare that to something like the standard snap-on here, line that up and go, let's see, I guess it's locked. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is a 32. This sells for $19.99 or so on Amazon. Um, this is a bit more. The bit storage in here, it's got this rotational carousel, comes with one preloaded. Um, and if you look at this, each one is a double-sided bit. Now, now, Klein is not hesitant at all to make proprietary bits. I've got several different ones here. There's one, there's one. If you go out to this, this older version, there's another. So there are all these different sizes of bits. Um, and it does not take any other. So if I, I pop this guy out, and let's say I want to drop in a, a standard, what do we have here? We've got an old DeWalt Phillips too. Drop it in, disappears. Luckily there's no magnet in there, so you can pop it right back out. However, I did notice you could drop one in and then drop another, and then you can actually get some um, potential use out of this. 
just simply because you're using this smaller one here to take up the space. I could see you throw about anything in there just to, to occupy some space and then this will fall out, but you can use it. Um, the other thing I noticed um, is check out this bit. They included this combo bit and you know, this is, the, it's a, both a, a combo two and a combo three, I believe. Let me see, yeah, or with combo one and combo two on this. So the combo one is not unusual in certain electrical receptacles. Uh, and then the combo two is kind of a popular design for um, conduit and thing like, things like that. Uh, it does use a friction fit and these plastic, let's see if you can see those, these plastic clips. I don't know what the shelf life is on those, but you know, even if it broke, if you still had some, um, you know, just some storage in there, in here, you can make things work. Uh, this is actually pretty smooth, kind of surprising for, um, for the price. And it uses a, a pretty solid feeling um, uh, ratcheting mechanism. Now, one of the keys with the ratcheting mechanism, throw a bit in here, um, has to do with if you put it in the center position where it's not, not ratcheting either direction and then measure the amount of actual play because that's sometimes where you want to be able to get something just right. And if there's a lot of play, it, it becomes a little bit difficult. Compare that to this guy. Let me put that in the center. This one has a little bit more play. However, if you go to the snap-on, center that, there's plenty of play there. PB Swiss, on the other hand, um, is pretty snug. If I drop that in, look at that. That's There's almost no play, just a tiny bit right there. But you're paying a bunch for this. This is like a hundred bucks. I don't know what these are, 60 or so versus 19 plus the bit set. It brings back the kind of the Klein lines, the rubber coating hand grip area, the kind of that classic Klein yellow um, acetate or whatever they're using, that plastic um, full bit carousel. Just have to make sure you get the ones with the, um, the ball bearings. I have others I use. Here's some ball bearing ones, but these are too big. Um, I had picked these up somewhere a long time ago to see if I could, you know, rebuild a, um, a uh, tool. And if I compare these, they're way bigger. So whole different universe. If you don't mind the proprietary stuff, you know, you can go to town with this guy. Uh, works pretty well when you're actually grinding around on a, let me pop out a, a Phillips here. This looks like a good one. Pop that in, drop that back into the carousel. This does spin too, so if you want to hold something still. We look at this, what do we have here? We've got a PH1 and, or Phillips 1 and a Phillips 2 with the ball bearing detent. And then drop it on a fastener here. Nice, good grip, good arc. It's a solid unit. I like it way better than their previous version, this guy here, um, with this this crazy ring. This just never never worked well for me. Um, and then having this, you know, just this heavy, heavy, I mean, that's like 11.3 to 9.2. So it's almost two full ounces more. And the balance on this is so much nicer. Um, it is a little tail heavy here because it's got a full bit carousel on the back, but not by a lot. Whereas this one has no onboard bit storage besides this, this uh, flipping bit up in the front. Um, or the, re the rotating bit here, which of course takes even two more. And then when you throw all this together and it still is, is really tail heavy. A uh, big chunk of a weight out here. I don't know if I can weigh the, the back end of that thing. But anyway, I'm here to show you this one. Nice sleek lines. They're working well. I did notice, however, here we go. If I put this into, uh, into a drill, because I noticed it spun a little funny. Let me crank that. Ah! 
See that wiggle? It's just slightly off center in the machining here. And if I compare that, let me pop that loose, say to, I don't know, the PB Swiss. It's kind of an unfair comparison in some ways. What do we got? Let me click that. Machined beautifully. So, just something to think about. There is, I noticed it when I was spinning this thing that it did have a little bit of offset. You might even be able to see it here, just in my hand spinning. When you speed it up, you can tell. So that's not quite perfect, but what do you expect? Um, I think this, I believe this is made in Taiwan. I don't know where the initial packaging went, but I believe that's what it is. It's not a US company or not a US manufacturer that made it, but good solid feel in the hand. It's definitely down under that thing, that, that level of heft that makes you think, wow, this is a heavy tool. Um, and if you don't mind the proprietary bits, it's got, got them all covered. We've got basic torque, slotted, Robinson, Robinson, uh, Robinson uh, squares. We've got the combos, slotted, etc. So there it is. The, uh, the Klein uh, 32305 ratcheting screwdriver, ratcheting bit driver. If only it took um, a standard bit. Maybe somebody could make a, uh, an insert or something that fit into this that then had a bit attachment on it. Maybe I'll look for one. That would really bring this to the next level. But anyway, with that, dock out.